Hi everyone in English 2323, it's Dr. E and I'm here with your week five instructional video. So I'm just going to walk through some areas in D2L and then we'll get to what's going on this week. Uh, so let's just go ahead and what I want to first touch base about in the content area is a space that we've covered, you know, in the begin at the beginning of the semester, but it's really helpful to kind of just make sure that everybody is aware that these items are available. In the student success module here, uh, there is a link for tech support and resources. Uh, so some of the links are also available elsewhere, such as for VLAC, um, but you can find it here, OTS, uh, WebEx and Zoom. I mean, any of the things that you may be uh, needing some answers for, laptop checkout, Pulse app, that kind of thing is available here. But in the student success module as well is an academic support link. And so this is where it's helpful to peruse all the different things that are available, uh, advising, disability services, tutoring, especially now that we're kind of deep into the semester, you may be um, seeking out some math, tutoring, biology, English, anything, right? Um, there's also, you know, student services, including financial aid, um, career services, veterans information, college policies. But what I really want to focus on right now is this crisis care link, which will take you to a site that's called Care for Completion. And there are different categories here just based on need, right? So there's a section for food, if you're experiencing food insecurity, clothing, employment, mental health and wellness, these kinds of things. Um, it just seems like something that's very important to drive home, especially because uh, I'm now able to take the time to go through your surveys from the beginning of the semester. At the beginning, I, I go through quickly to assign those grades so that you see that you've submitted the work and done that. Uh, but now I actually go through and take a lot of time reading through them. Many of you um, mentioned things like housing insecurity, food insecurity, perhaps financial hardship. Uh, my instinct essentially and initially is to reach out to you directly, make sure that you know about all these things that are available, see what we can do. Um, but I know that you sharing that in your survey is you're already feeling vulnerable about sharing that perhaps. And some of you checked prefer not to say in your in your survey. Uh, so I don't want to add to any kind of stress you have about that. But I do want you to know that you can reach out to me and I hope that you would if you were experiencing any of those things. If you're going through some financial hardship, let's talk. Let's see if there's emergency funding somewhere. If you're experiencing food insecurity, let's talk. There are resources available at our various campuses that I can connect you with. So, of course, my goal as an instructor is to uh, ensure that you're on the path to success in our course and in the future, but on a personal level, I want to make sure that everyone's okay. Uh, so please don't hesitate to reach out to me so that we can figure out how to help you, help you through what may be a very uh, tough time, okay? So know that these are resources that are here for you and that um, I'm a resource as well. I hope you consider that. All right, so if we go back to student success, another thing I want to point out that you may have seen before uh, is this area for bonus events and workshops. And so this is something that I just want to offer, you know, every semester things happen, right? You missed an assignment, uh, you had something going on, you know, you were too tired one day, um, caring for the kids was just too much on this other day. Whatever the case may be, you may have missed an assignment here or there, or you want to make sure that in the future you have a little bit of cushion with your grade because maybe you will miss an assignment in the future or something of that nature. So these bonus events and workshops are there to allow for a little bit of leeway with your grade. It's not a ton. It's not going to make up for absolutely every kind of assignment, but it's something that's there to help ease your mind uh, and to help alleviate some of the stress that you may be feeling if you missed a quiz or a discussion post. Those are grades that can't be made up because of the nature of the assignments. Um, but here's an opportunity for you. So whether it's something you want to plan for in the future uh, or maybe you think about doing this week, it's here. So uh, what you'll do is, you know, you have the option for five points for each event and up to three events per semester. So up to 15 bonus points. You'll attend one of these events or workshops and then you'll complete a form to upload to D2L. And this is what the form looks like. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, you may have to tweak your answers a little bit. So something like who organized this event? 
if it's a TED Talk, then, you know, you talk about it being a TED Talk, but then is it a library? Is it, you know, a different organization? So just give me some of that background. Uh, so you'll just complete these different areas. Tell me what you walked away with in terms of learning. But I want to note that just submitting this document does not equate to five bonus points. Your document needs to be complete, complete sentences, revised, edited, all that good stuff, uh, but also needs to offer detail about that event or that workshop. Show me that you attended. Tell me about it in detail, right? So this is time consuming, but you get something out of it, right? All right. So if you click on events and workshops, this is where all of those are listed. Uh, we have some semester events and I'll keep adding to these, but right now, uh, of course, it's Black History Month. So we have the African American Read-In. That's an actual synchronous event on Tuesday. Uh, but there are plenty of other things if you aren't able to attend that, such as, you know, we have a TED Talk by Cheyenne Cochran, um, a celebration of natural hair. Miracle Jones has a great TED Talk about the revolutionary power, revolutionary power of Black Joy. She is an advocate, a queer advocate. Um, it's really a great talk, as well as, of course, you know, Lizzo's talk. So Kimberly Crenshaw also has a talk on the urgency of intersectionality. This is particularly useful for folks who maybe you've heard about intersectionality in the news and elsewhere. Um, and there is a lot of misinformation about it. So Kimberly Crenshaw, who actually coined the term, talks about what it means, and it's just very important. There's the Polly Murray online exhibit through the National Museum of African American History and Culture. Um, so this is, an, you know, an exhibit, right? So there are different videos associated with it. There are materials that you can view. It's pretty great, as well as some podcasts. So How Stokely Carmichael and the Black Panthers Changed the Civil Rights Movement. Uh, and then an episode from the 1619 Project. If you're not familiar with those, then definitely. Um, there are There's a lot of misinformation about the Black Panthers in general and as well as the 1619 Project. So, you know, get some, get some good information. And then there are virtual workshops about just student success. So self-care, study strategies, time management. You know, these are general things that help you as a student. And I'll keep adding to those events as we move through the semester, but that gives you a good kind of snapshot. I try to offer something that's audio, something that's visual, you know, different kinds of events just uh, based on what be what may be the most useful and the most enjoyable for, for you. All right, if we go back to bonus events and workshops, there is a link there to the actual assignment where you would upload the work, right? You can, of course, find it by going to course activities and selecting assignments, uh, but everything for those bonus events and workshops is also located here. So if you click on the assignment, uh, you'll just, I put only the the Word file here because sometimes it's just easier to submit that versus a PDF. But if you go back to uh, the, the actual area, oh, there should be a PDF. I'll actually add that PDF because depending on what kind of um, device you have, it may be easier to use. But the, the Word file, by and large, the feedback I get from students is that this is the easiest. Uh, so, You'll just upload your document here and you'll just, you don't have to do them all now, that you have time throughout the semester. I think the due date for this work I actually set as, let me pull this down, right, so the 30th of April. Um, and that's just because I'll keep adding events throughout the semester, but I have to shut it down at a certain time to then pull the grades from it, right? Especially towards the end of the semester. So something to just keep in mind. Uh, but with that in mind, let's go ahead to our weekly module. And if we click on week five, um, I'm, I have a change up here, which hopefully is going to be okay with most of you. So originally we were going to read uh, the biography and the story by Arthur Conan Doyle, which are additional readings you can find here. So if you click on this, you'll find that information. It used to be in the Norton Anthology and they took it out and I'm really mad about it, but I wanted to make sure that it was an option for us to read this semester because it's, it's just good, it's fun, and it really connects to what we'll be reading next, um, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. So, Anyhow, if we go back to week five, you'll notice that there are things crossed out, and that's just because we're not doing them this week. You, The only thing you have to complete this week is, uh, I put that these are optional, is the quiz. 
Uh, so the only thing you have to worry about is that quiz, but of course you can take this time to get ahead in your reading. You can take this time to work on maybe some bonus events or assignments, uh, or maybe you just need to catch up in your other classes, or you need to catch up on sleep, right? Because stuff is going on. I'm getting lots of emails about how overwhelmed we may be. Um, and that's understandable because we are in that point in the semester where uh, things start to speed up, right? Uh, so make sure that you're making whatever choice is best for you. Please note that. Um, if you are a person who you foresee that you are going to maybe miss an assignment in the future because you have this this trip that you forgot about or you something's going on, work ahead now uh, because this is one of those things. Once that bonus event um, and workshop, uh, those points shut down, they are shut down, right? So you want to make sure you're getting them done when you're able to, but you don't have to do it this week. Okay, so just to repeat myself, the only thing that we have to do this week is that participation quiz. So uh, if you do have any questions or concerns, definitely reach out to me, um, especially if those things are related to like grades. Uh, that's something that you and I can talk about, whether it's uh, via Zoom or WebEx during student success hours or whenever it works for you. Uh, but of course, there's always that Q&A discussion board area, which is really helpful because uh, if you have that question, other people may as well. All right, I hope that this helps ease your mind a little bit. We have a very light, very light week ahead of us, um, but I hope that you do have a good week and good luck. Just hopefully this helps you push that reset button.